Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well. This is first slide which shows the overall layout of my presentation. It includes introduction of myself and the topic. Then we will discuss problem statement and a hypothesis of the study. Then we will move on towards research methodology. In it we will discuss what is the research design of this study and what is the population. Then we will discuss about measures used in the study and the econometric model used. Then we, I will present findings of the study. Conclusion and recommendation will follow and then we will have a discussion on this study. So the title of my study is Impact of Financial Reporting Quality on Investment Efficiency Around the Globe. I am Muhammad Azhar Khan. I am PhD research scholar at National University of Sciences and Technology, Nurse Business School, Islamabad, Pakistan. I have done this research under the supervision of my uh, PhD supervisor, Dr. Nabil Safdar, who is Associate Professor in Nurse Business School. Moving towards the introduction of my research, this study investigates the association between financial reporting quality, FRQ, and investment efficiency across 21,741 publicly listed firms spanning 36 countries worldwide, encompassing developed, emerging, frontier, and other markets. There are two main constructs in my studies, financial reporting quality and investment efficiency. Financial reporting quality is the precision of financial reports in conveying the insights about a firm activities, particularly projected cash flows. And investment efficiency is a firm's ability to embrace all projects with positive net present value. Moving towards the problem statement of the study, prior literature does not provide empirical evidence regarding the impact of financial reporting quality on investment efficiency which can be generalized to all transnational listed firms around the globe. In developed markets, the documented positive impact of financial reporting quality on investment efficiency is yet to address the question whether such association persists in emerging frontier and other markets particularly what, what I am saying when emerging frontier and other countries have comparatively lower financial reporting quality and there exist different common and civil law origins. This slide presents hypothesis of my studies. Mainly there is one hypothesis which is subdivided into three categories. H1 of my study is financial reporting quality significantly and positively impacts investment efficiency around the globe. So the H1A of this study becomes financial reporting quality significantly and positively impacts investment efficiency in developed markets. H1B is in emerging markets and for H1C this hypothesis becomes in frontier and other markets. Moving towards a research methodology of the study. Uh, research design of this study is explanatory, uh, which is based on a longitudinal panel research design that would allow for examining the relationship between financial reporting quality and investment efficiency. Explanatory research and longitudinal panel research design are aligned with positivist epistemology objective ontology, quantitative strategy, and deductive approach. 
This study relies on two fundamental theories to elucidate the relationship between financial reporting quality and investment efficiency. Managers' voluntarily information disclosure is consistent with these theories. Agency theory indicates a strong link between disclosure in financial reports and profitability. And signaling theory suggests that well-performing firms aim to convey their quality to investors through robust financial reporting quality. What is the population and sample of the study? The population for this study consists of convenient sample of all listed non-financial firms based on standard industrial codes, SIC codes, and pharma and French industry classification. Financial and utilities companies are excluded from this sample because these firms are highly regulated and are not comparable. The sample period is from uh, 2000 to 2022, uh, which is sufficiently long period and, uh, so that we can reflect on the findings generated from this data. And accounting data is downloaded for all listed firms in 40 industries and 36 countries having 166,453 firms year observations, which is a huge data. So what uh, measures are used for the variables of this study? I used uh, three measures to, for financial reporting quality, uh, which are modified Jones 1995 model, Kothari et al. 2005 model, and Mac Nicholas and Stubborn 2008 models. Each financial reporting quality mayor is determined by multiplying minus one with the absolute residues from the respective accrual models, where the higher values signify superior financial reporting quality. And the investment efficiency is measured as absolute residues derived from the Biddle et al. 2009 model multiplied by minus one. Higher values denote higher investment efficiency. Uh, econometric model of this study is here you can see causal connections are examined through fixed effects variation analysis. Uh, in independent side, we have investment efficiency. Uh, beta naught is our constant term, beta one and functional reporting quality, uh, whether it is based on uh, modified Jones, Kothari, or Mac Nicholas and Stubborn model control represent set of control variables which are identified from prior studies. Year, industry, and country fixed effect are applied. Epsilon IT is error term. Uh, we also supplemented uh, our analysis by additional tests and robustness checks utilizing alternative processes. Moreover, the concerns above endogeneity are mitigated through two-stage least care to SLS analysis. So what are the findings of this study? Here you can see our dependent variables investment efficiency. Uh, uh, this is overall panel which includes all type of uh, uh, markets in it. Fascia reporting quality J represents for Jones model, K for Kothari and MS for Mac Nicholas and Stubborn model. Here you can see that all our variables are uh, significant and positive. It means the results reveal a positive impact of financial reporting quality on investment efficiency, not only in the listed firms of developed markets, but also this link is well established by the empirical findings in emerging frontier and other markets. Even amid the comparatively low financial reporting quality in our data set, comprising frontier and other markets. Moreover, in untabulated results, our exploration of both overinvestment and underinvestment scenario demonstrate a pronounced link between financial reporting quality and investment efficiency in both scenarios. These findings contribute to the existing body of evidence indicating that beyond its influence on investment efficiency in developed markets, 
the relationship between financial reporting quality and investment efficiency holds true globally. This encompasses emerging frontier and other markets, characterized by varying level of reporting quality and financial frameworks. To conclude my study, uh, I say this study holds significance with the, within the institutional framework of emerging frontier and other markets spanning 36 countries with diverse legal origins. The implication extends to investors for gauging firms' investment efficiency, managers for choosing appropriate reporting and investment strategies, and policymakers for making appropriate country and transnational policies that affects accounting and financial reporting practices of listed firms. Uh, this understanding has the potential to motivate firms to enhance ethical practices and regulatory compliance, fostering effective market operations. A discussion on the limitation of the study. I have used three proxies to my financial reporting quality and one measure to for investment efficiency. Uh, these measures may be susceptible to my amount errors. Uh, secondly, I used Morgan Stanley Capital International Classification to identify markets as a developed emerging frontier or other markets. I have started with 128 countries and during the construct of the variables of financial reporting quality and investment efficiency, I am left with only 36 countries. So one may show concern about the generalizability of the results obtained. And lastly, uh, I acknowledge the limitation of not using any channel which may influence uh, association of financial reporting quality and investment efficiency. Uh, this might be country level of investors protection or the financial friction faced by the firms. Uh, that's all from my side. Thank you so much for patiently listening to my presentation. Have a good day and happy conferencing.